Well, the saga at City Hall may come to an end after weeks of fighting among city leaders. Thanks for joining us this morning for Good Day Memphis. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. And I'm John Paul, as we've reported all this month. It's all about who will be the new interim candidate for District 1, as well as two other seats that need representation. Local 24 News reporter Dave Detling joining us live to catch us up on what's been happening behind closed doors. Dave. Hey, good morning. Well, it's not just the people who live in District 1 who want this all to end, but uh, yesterday we saw a group of women Democrats who are jumping on board, including one of the former councilwomen who could have potentially stopped this all from happening to begin with. Now, later today, a full city council is expected to address what they've been avoiding for weeks, filling three vacant seats and giving the people of Memphis the proper representation they deserve on city council. Yesterday, we saw a second group of Democratic women's groups, including the former councilwoman who refused to give up her seat until the last minute. She made a public demand for fairness in the process. Of course, we are talking about Janice Foley Love. She says racial politics is playing a role in the process and that it needs to end. Six members on that, on that board, and they believe that a white should be in that seat. They don't care who, who it is, as long as there's a white in that seat, that is reprehensible. And of course, the person that they want to see seated on city council is uh, Rhonda Logan. Uh, but of course, as we've reported, she never received the seven votes needed. Her uh, opponent did drop out of the race. Of course, also up for discussion later today, the other two vacant seats that need to be filled. We, of course, will keep you updated. City council starts at 3 p.m. We're live in downtown Memphis. Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.